What's going on everybody? Action Figure Expert here. Bringing you guys a little review on my my uh, Iron Man Armory setup. Right here. Pretty sure you guys or most of you guys have watched my uh, my Iron Man Armory video by now. It's, uh, I'm not going to really go over the armors. I'm just going to go over the uh, the display and the setup itself. First things first, of course, most of you probably already know these uh, these things that I got the armor standing on are the Target exclusive Hall of Armor sets, which uh, there were six different sets that came out. Um, one came with a war machine there. One came with the Mark VI armor. One came with the Mark I armor. One came with the Mark II armor. What else is there? Uh, that is one, two, three, four. Uh, where are you? One came with the Mark IV and, and uh, the Mark III armor. Yeah, and uh, yeah, probably you guys are probably wondering, did I pay retail for all of these? Well, you know what? The answer is no. I did not pay retail for all of these Hall of Armors right here. In fact, believe it or not, at an average for each of the piece itself. For just the Hall of Armor display, it only averages out to about a little under three dollars a piece that I paid for them. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, if if you if you if you were collecting the uh, Iron Man three and three quarter inch figures, uh, you know, like last year, they had these five dollar coupons, and I used a lot of those, but bulk of my uh, my purchase came online a few months ago target.com uh, had the Hall of Armor sets um, ranging between 424 to about five dollars and some change anyway to make the long story short most of them I got online for about four, four to five dollars a piece. So, um, yeah, I paid about five dollars a piece for them. And as of right now, I've I've either been able to trade off or sell about three quarters of the figures that I got from them. So therefore, that's what brought that's what brings the the about five dollars down to maybe like. To like three dollars or so because I have sold a lot of them for about two or three bucks a piece depending on which figure and um, or, or I've traded them traded them for other figures that I needed yeah that's how I came upon all of these uh, one thing I'll tell you guys it is actually sort of a, a pain to put them stacking up on top of each other I'll tell you why in a moment. But, uh, a lot of people are wondering what's this little base I got here with the computer console. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. It's um, you know the show called Star Trek Enterprise, which is the prequel to the original series. Anyway, there's a uh, playset of the uh, of the Star Trek Enterprise bridge, and that's what these bases right here are from. That's what they're from. Uh, that's basically it for that. I mean, um, this this whole diorama here is a big work work in progress. I plan on adding more to it later on down the line. I'll probably reset this whole display back up in in a few months when I find more things to add to this. There's a lot more things that I have in mind, but I haven't had a chance to. Uh, uh, put them together yet. But, 
but uh, yeah. And uh, let's see. Yeah, believe it or not, stacking these things up uh, isn't as simple as it seems. And uh, especially co connecting them together like that, and then stacking a long row of them on top of each other. Believe it or not, these three columns I do not have connected to the corners right there. You can see where, they're, where the corners angled. Same over here. Those three columns I don't have connected there. I'll tell you why. Actually, these seven right here, seven right there, those are each seven I have the columns are connected or the, the, the rows are connected only because of this right here see this if you can if you hold them up by both sides like that yeah they're stable but what sort of sucks is they really don't they really don't stay together that well like that you see what I'm saying and then um, I'm trying to stack one on top of another here these things are just so flimsy that trying to put pressure down when you're trying to connect the the gear part right there <laughs> you might as well forget about it because it's it's a real pain <laughs> so I mean for all you guys out there that have been uh, looking to put together a little armory slash hall of armor like this just uh, just be ready for that when you're putting it together like I said have to, you'll have to lift it up like that. When when I lifted it up, these these rows, I had to grab them by like two like that on that side, and two like that, and then lift it up um, carefully to stack each row above each other. And, uh, and yeah, there's there's a little. Uh, tip on that. Another thing, a lot of people were asking me if I could get all this to light up. Actually, um, like a third of them, by the time I got them, the batteries were dead in them, so I said screw it. I'm not even going to bother trying to do that. Not to mention if you have them stacked up this high, trying to press, the button there isn't really that loose, so trying to press that button would really make them collapse and try doing that to uh, the 52 of them right here but, uh, yeah this people were also asking how how much space does this take up when I got it set up it's about, about 24 by 40 some inches when it comes to height and width but, uh, yeah my little commentary video on my Iron Man Hall of Armor. You guys got any questions, comments? Feel free to leave it in the video. Alright? Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.